Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about subgroup generated by a subset of a group. We will learn about uh, commutator subgroup, which is generated by the set of all commutator of uh, a group G. Now we give definition of a subgroup generated by a subset. A subgroup H of a group G is said to be generated by a subset S if S is contained in H and if there is any other subgroup of G which contains S implies H is contained in that subgroup. We will use uh, the notation you can see here in magenta color. Uh, we uh, in this case uh, we say uh, S as a generating set and H is generated by S. If uh, there is a some subset of G which generate G then we say that G is generated by S and S is the generating set. Now uh, yeah, in view of the above uh, definition we see that the subgroup generated by S is the smallest subgroup of G which contains S and uh, uh, the subgroup generated by S is also the intersection of all subgroups of G which contains S. In fact, uh, one can show that all these three statements are equivalent here. In this slide, we take S is a finite subset of a group G and uh, we make a collection of uh, elements of G such as K is the collection of all possible finite product of element of S and their inverses as you can see in this slide G1 epsilon 1 G2 epsilon 2 uh, uh, dot dot Gm epsilon m uh, in this product elements are taken from S and their exponents are either 1 or minus 1 uh, according to this collection. So first of all you one can see that K is a non-empty subset of G as S is contained in K and if you take X any element of K then uh, corresponding to uh, uh, elements this elements we can define an element x star using uh, x1 x2 xr epsilon 1 epsilon 2 epsilon r in such a way that their product is identity and therefore x star is inverse of x and hence x star belongs to k as inverse of x so every element of k has inverse multiplicative inverse uh, in next you can see that if there are two elements then their product also can be shown in k therefore uh, we can uh, write in the next slide as a proposition one k is a subgroup of g generated by s because you have seen that uh, K is a, a non-empty, uh, K is a closed uh, under multiplication and every element has a inverse uh, and uh, S is contained in K. In fact, this is K is a smaller subgroup which generated by S. Yes. Okay, this form uh, is very useful for us to define a uh, commutator subgroup. Now we have some simplified form of K. 
Um, now, first form uh, is uh, obtained after uh, uh, writing uh, x like x x x x inverse uh, y x square. So it means that if there is a repetition uh, of some element of s, then we can collect. Uh, uh, in a ex uh, as an exponent so uh, the exponent becomes integers uh, in this case and if g is a billion then it is some kind of uh, 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 you can use commutativity and hence you can make exponent in this form so that elements of uh, the form contains all distinct element of s and if g is a finite then uh, uh, we can use some x uh, i inverse x i inverse in uh, some x i exponent integer exponent non negative exponent so therefore uh, these three forms are immediate consequences of uh, their uh, uh, condition which we are uh, quoting here and now in this case when uh, s generates g in this case we say that g is a finitely generated as s is a finite subset of uh, g and this is a uh, g is a cyclic if and only if g is generated by a single element of g next slide we uh, give an example of symmetric group of degree 3 uh, symmetric group of degree 3 contains permutation defined on the set s uh, having three element you can say 1 2 3 and uh, the these permutations ca can be given in the table uh, with their uh, their notation we can use here and um, most of uh, author use these notation so you see that uh, uh, 1 2 3 all are fixed uh, under sigma 1 so this uh, sigma 1 we will use identity notation here and in sigma 2 uh, you see that 2 goes to 3 and 3 goes to 2 and 1 goes to 1 so we can use notation 2 3 uh, 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 for self explanation of this uh, mapping uh, so you can see 2 3 means 2 goes to 3 and 3 goes to 2 and 1 goes to 1 similarly we can sigma 3 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 1 and 3 goes to 3 under uh, this uh, uh, permutation sigma 3 sigma 4 1 uh, has image 2 2 has image 3 and 3 has image 1 under this mapping as we have shown in left hand side of this table so uh, in this way we can define all the mappings and if you take sigma 4 equal x sigma 2 equal y then you can see that all elements of s3 can be written in the product of x and y and therefore we can say s3 is generated by xy so uh, there is uh, some exercise also uh, for n greater than equal to 3 s n the symmetric group of degree n the set of all permutation defined on the set of n elements uh, is a group under the composition of mapping uh, th these mappings are permutation on uh, the set of n elements and uh, some permutations are even some permutation are odd and you can see that sn is generated by two elements one to the transposition and one to n this is a, a n length cycle and an is a uh, is the alternating group of sn which contains exactly half elements of sn in fact an contains all even permutations of uh, uh, sn and uh, 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 you, uh, one can verify that an is generated by the set of all three cycles now we comes to derived subgroup or a commutator subgroup 
uh, for any element a b belongs to g there exists a unique element a inverse b inverse a b we will denote it by the close bracket a b we will call commutator of a b uh, and the set of all commutator uh, we can say s s is the collection of all commutator of g uh, then by proportion first the uh, subgroup generated by the set of all commutator of g it can be uh, defined and therefore with this subgroup we will call derived subgroup or commutator subgroup we will denote it by z dash or delta g now uh, we have some interesting properties of this uh, g dash is the smallest subgroup of g which contains the set of all commutators and uh, we have seen that the various forms of k now uh, uh, we have form of g dash is here but uh, so we know that inverse of a commutator again a commutator so the form of g dash reduces to this g dash is um, element of g dash is a product of commutators a product of commutators simply and therefore we can prove using this um, simplified form easily g dash is a normal subgroup of g and next is that g dash is the smallest normal subgroup of g such that g g dash is abelian this is interesting property here that if there is a group g then we can always find a normal subgroup of g which is g dash and if g is a simple then what about g dash you can think so now uh, it is uh, uh, second property is that uh, if g is a any group but their factor group we can find a factor group which is always abelian with respect to this uh, commutator subgroup g dash so uh, this uh, proportion second is uh, useful uh, for our studies and now in next slide we uh, have some uh, assignments uh, problems uh, first is every finite group is finitely gen generated oh okay it is uh, very much true find the generators of additive group z uh, okay you know it is generated by one this is additive group uh, third is uh, g is a group with four elements and you see that it is not cyclic because uh, every element uh, different from identity having order two uh, but the group has four elements therefore it is not cyclic uh, so this is the example of an abelian group which is not cyclic we know that every cyclic group is abelian but uh, 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 sometimes we have to uh, ask uh, uh, give an example of an abelian group which is not cyclic and it is smallest abelian group which is not cyclic okay uh, quaternion group uh, uh, has eight elements operations are defined as uh, you uh, this is a non abelian group and uh, i hope student will enjoy to find generator of g uh, some may also find uh, derived subgroup of g now uh, derived subgroup of uh, sn in next problem 5 uh, contains even permutation of sn and you know that an also contains uh, even permutations uh, therefore there will be some relation i hope a student will uh, give some time to this problem and next problem uh, sixth problem is a simple consequence of uh, our derived uh, subgroups okay uh, so i hope student uh, have enjoyed this uh, all these slides and able to learn about uh, subgroup generated by a subset of uh, a group g and uh, Uh, commutator subgroup and uh, we, they will learn how a commutator subgroup can be defined so thank you for listening me